Hello, we are Team Fighters. Let us introduce ourselves. My name is Eric Hackler. Ryan Schwartz. Hello, this is Wingo. Ahmed Hamid. Zachary Musilak. No Survivors is a top-down third-person shooter influenced by Hotline Miami and Enter the Gungeon. Originally, we intended for the game to be more difficult, faster paced, and more violent. As we developed the game, we messed around with its art style, difficulty, and pacing. And in the end, we turned out to favor where the game is now. Our game is pretty straightforward. You would progress through each level, shooting at enemies that get in your way. Our main systems for this game include the ability to deal damage to enemies, not just by shooting at them, but also by dashing into them or throwing weapons at them. In addition, the player can slow down time temporarily, enabling the player to dodge enemy fire more easily and aim more precisely. Overall, the current game is very similar to our initial vision for it, because we worked around the clock to ensure that it is. Uh, we did not want to settle for anything that would stray away from the intended design of our game by an exceptional margin. Our design pillars and many meetings helped us to stay on the right track and collect each other's visions for the game. So, designing the scripts to use a lot of inspector variables and be as flexible and optimized as possible has helped us customize and tailor our game without much hassle. Taking extensive notation within scripts has helped us to speed up development whenever we did have to go in and write something new or bug fix, so a lot of time has been saved by doing that. For example, uh, if we would find out after hours of testing code that instances of weapon information scripts that are already written and set up to hold information for different weapon types can only be set up once to hold variables, it would be very useful for others to know this on the team so that if they should have to do anything related to them, that information is handy. We have learned that writing weapons without class inheritance or polymorphism is a bad way to go about setting a weapon system up because of the long-term consequences it holds. Generally, we have found that this applies to anything with programming and re anything related to the project. Initially, player animations gave us trouble with erratic movement and visual glitches. Later on, however, we found out it was because we imported them as humanoid skeletons when they were not configured as such in the animation software. Luckily, switching them back to generic fixed those issues, and we could implement them into the game normally. One skill that was really useful for this project was the player press system. See, before our capstone classes, we were not aware that the Unity engine had its own system for storing independent variables, like checkpoint information and the player's score, outside of the scene. We just used Don't Destroy on Load for data storage objects, so that they wouldn't be destroyed whenever a new scene was loaded. We found this to be problematic later in our project, as Find an Object of Type would not look for objects in the Don't Destroy on Load category, and therefore would not get their data. With player press, however, all of our data was outside of the game itself, and readily accessible at any time. For the camera, Lerps was the best choice for a smooth and easy camera move. We used it to follow the player and for zooming in and out, and it did a great job. Also switching the camera between multiple objects using the same technique gave the player the ability to see further distance to explore more and get ready for unexpected enemies. We also implemented the cooldown indicator for the dash, slow motion, and the reload, which gave more visual feedback for the player to be aware of when can he use those skills again. Learning C Sharp and level design were the most useful skills that we have learned because they helped us to create mechanics and mix them to make fun levels. During development we were able to use techniques we learned from level design videos to help better our, our understanding of the importance of what things go where, enemy balancing, and an easier route for the player to follow without the use of UI or markers. We found that communication was the most useful skill that we had learned. Talking things through with not only our team, but other teams as well, was something that allowed us to look at situations differently. Hello, this is Wing Yu. During the whole development process, we were able to design and implement final boss behavior in order to create intense battle experience. We were also able to successfully design and implement some mechanics such as the door interaction, keycard and electronic door, explosive barrel mechanics. We also used multiple type for keycard to open different doors, which gave us the opportunity to create puzzles in each level to give the players a task to feel the progress during the game. We learned some useful skills in this project, such as setting up nav mesh obstacle, making explosion force, making multiple scripts to communicate to each other, and our level design skills also improved a lot in this project as well. 